This is Malcolm341. In today's video, we're going to learn how to use the MTK custom shelf. The custom shelf is super helpful, but it's hidden by default, so let's get into it. So the first thing I'm going to do is reset my Maya UI back to default so the tutorial is easier to follow along with. And to do that, I'm going to come to this folder here, see users, your username, documents, Maya, and then your Maya version. I'm in 2020, so I'm going to go to 2020. And I'm going to select this folder called prefs, and I'm just going to rename that to prefs underscore backup. And then I'm going to go to programs and launch Maya. And I'm going to say create default preferences. And then I'm going to wait about 400 years for Maya to load. I'm actually just going to stop the video here. Okay, and after some time, Maya is loaded. I'm just going to click OK. And we've got a fully default Maya user preferences and also Maya interface. And one thing I'd like to mention first, if your Maya loads slow or closes slow, I've actually developed some tools that will help Maya load faster and close significantly faster. And you can see a link to that video up here in the right hand corner of your screen right now. Okay, so first up, what you probably already know is Maya has these shelves here that it comes with. It's got all these preset ones and it's got a custom shelf where you can put your own stuff. So if you go to any of the commands up here and you hold control and shift on the keyboard and then select any one of these, click it, it will add that command to the shelf. So basically just making a shortcut wherever you want, which is super handy. Now, along with that, it actually has another hidden shelf in Maya as part of the MTK or Modeling Toolkit custom shelf. And to get to that, it's really easy. You just come over here and click on the Modeling Toolkit tab, and you'll see this thing come up here. And if you look down here, you'll see all these little dots. And if I hover over it, my icon will change to this up and down arrow. If you click and hold and drag that up, it will actually reveal the custom shelf, the MTK custom shelf. And this is the second most asked question on my YouTube channel. So I just wanted to make a video specifically for this. We've actually covered the custom shelf in another video, but I get asked, how do I get that custom shelf in the bottom right hand corner of my Maya so often that I'm just making a new video specifically about this. So the custom shelf is completely independent from this shelf or any of these other shelves. And how you get icons into it is you add something to an existing shelf and then you hold control shift and you middle mouse drag it down there. So for example, if we wanted to go to whatever poly modeling and we wanted to take the Taurus, hold control plus shift plus hold the middle mouse button down and then middle mouse drag that and you'll see a little arrow there. And then over here, when it highlights with the box, keep holding shift and the control down, but release middle mouse and you'll see it appears there. And now this is important that you keep holding control and shift because if you just middle mouse drag it and release it there, it actually removes it from the shelf and it copies it down here, but you can always middle mouse drag it back up there to get it back unless you save and you lose your work. But if you accidentally release control and shift sometimes while you're dropping it there, it might do the same thing. It might copy it down. So I always make sure I didn't accidentally remove it from up here. So I'm just gonna drag a couple more random icons down here just for demonstration purposes. So control, shift, middle mouse, drag, middle mouse, release. You can just hold control and shift and never release them and just middle mouse, drag, release, drag, release, drag, release. And so you can put as many icons as you want down there. And then if you want to make the shelf bigger, you can just scroll it up like this. I don't actually like the modeling toolkit UI. I don't use that for anything. I use hotkeys and I use marking menus and stuff. So actually in my Maya, I'll expand this the whole way. So I have this nice shelf down the right hand side with plenty of space. And you can of course dock this as well. So if we just take this and click it and drag it out, you can put it out here and you can scale it down. We could make it wide. So you can actually have like a floating toolbox of all the tools that you care about, which I find really useful for modeling because I'm right-handed. So I like put it down there and then it's kind of easy to get to the tools. And then I'll still use my custom shelf for some other stuff up here, but I have most of my modeling tools workflow like right down here. If you're left-handed, you could also put it over here and then you could have your tools over there or whatever. You can make it any shape that you want, dock it wherever you want. You can dock it over here if you want to. It's up to you how you want to use it. A couple of people have asked me, oh, could I make like a floating shelf or whatever? And there's no reason to because it's already built right into Maya. If you want to delete some of the content in here, you can just right click and say delete. 
and that's how you can get rid of stuff out of that shelf. But what you can't do, unfortunately, is come down here and edit existing shelf buttons in the MTK custom shelf. With the regular shelf, you can come up here and you can go to any one of these and you can right click it and you can say edit and you can change its contents and you can you know, do whatever, do any type of edits you wanna to do to that. But with the custom shelf, if you right click and you say edit, will actually take you falsely to not that command. And you will actually end up editing that and it'll like break something up here. It's gonna go to the poly menu here. So if I right click this and I say edit, we know that's a torus and it comes up with create sphere. So it looks like if you edit down here, it looks at the first thing here. And so you wouldn't actually wanna do that. Let's just do a test here. Yeah, so this is a bug or a lack of a feature. If you try to edit down here, you wreck stuff up here. So never edit here. You can only add and delete. So there's a workaround for this, which is kind of annoying, but it works. If you middle mouse drag this back out to any shelf temporarily, then you can edit it here, do whatever, blah, 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 make your edit, say okay. And then you can middle mouse drag that back down here. And then once you've done that, then that edit will stick. So it's just a really weird workflow. I guess they just forgot to put the editing functionality in this part of the custom shelf. Now, normally if you've made any edits to any shelf or any custom shelf and you wanna save those edits, you can come up to this little gear icon, click it, and you can say, save all shelves. And you click that and it's like, yep, we saved all the shelves, but it doesn't save changes to the modeling toolkit for whatever reason. They also forgot to include the save all shelves. Does not in fact save all shelves. It saves all of these shelves and not this shelf. So if Maya crashes right now or doesn't close correctly, you will lose any edits you did to the custom shelf, which can be super disheartening. I've lost like a bunch of work that I've done here because Maya crashed. And when you reopen it, that save all shelves doesn't actually do anything. So you lose all of the work that you've done. So the only way to save the contents of the Maya custom shelf is if you close Maya. So I've actually developed a tool which you can purchase from my online store and it's a special save preferences. And when it saves preferences, it actually saves the MTK custom shelf as well as all the other preferences you would expect and a bunch of other stuff as well, like recent file history, a bunch of stuff that you would lose if Maya crashes. I built a custom script that you can run at any time and it will just save this and save a bunch of other stuff. So check that out if that's something you're interested in. I find it super helpful. You can see a video of that in action in the video that I linked earlier in this video to do with the fast open, fast close, and special save preferences. It's actually three scripts that you get in one. So if you buy the fast open, fast close, you'll also get the special save preferences. Okay, and finally, another th cool thing that you can do with this shelf, if you want, is you could actually go to the channel box layer editor and you can actually have half channel box, half custom shelf. So if we could snap it in right there, this is actually how I do my Maya. I like to have the channel box open here. We'll just make a sphere. And so I like to be able to see this stuff here, plus have all my buttons here, and you can just grab this and pull it down to a more reasonable size. So just if you wanna have it be the same way as what you've seen in most of my videos, and then just drag in as many icons as you wanna drag in. If you want to back up the contents of the MTK custom shelf, or if you want to move those to a new computer or a new Maya installation, go to C users, your username, documents, Maya version 2020, or whatever version you use, prefs, and in that folder, look for mtkshelf.mel, and then copy that wherever you want. But remember, in order for this file to exist, you first need to open Maya, add some stuff to the custom shelf, and then close Maya without crashing or use my save preferences script. Okay, hopefully everyone enjoyed learning how to find and use the MTK custom shelf. And now if you email me asking how to do that, then I can just forward you to this video. Thanks very much for watching this video. Without viewers like you, this channel would not exist. If you liked this video and enjoy the channel, please support me by purchasing something from the online store. Each purchase goes towards creating more video content and keeps the channel ad-free. See you next time. Have a splendid day.